Thank you so much for joining me today at Everyday Yoga. My name is Christine. My pronouns are she and her. And today's practice is a recording of a live Zoom class uh, this afternoon here on the West Coast. Um, we're going to be starting a series on the systems of the body and how yoga can help support those systems. So in light of our current circumstances here in January, February of 2022, uh, at the time of this recording, we're still in the COVID-19 pandemic. And there is a lot of focus on the lungs and the breath and the respiratory system. So today's practice will be focused on increasing our lung health our lung capacity, as well as maybe talking through how some of the systems in the body um, work with our flow of breath. So in light of that, let's just begin by noticing the breath, coming into the present moment, really anchoring yourself here in this present moment by noticing where you see your breath, where do you feel your breath, when the first awareness of it comes to mind, is it in the belly, the chest region, at the nostrils? And just bring your awareness, maybe by closing your eyes to help you be more inward. You can notice the breath a little more steadily, just witnessing it, noticing it as it flows. Maybe you want to adjust where you're noticing it. Maybe you began noticing it in the belly and you might want to bring the attention up to the heart or to the nostrils, noticing the flow in and out. The breath, the respiratory system is one of the few systems that we can intentionally change with our awareness and our practice. Or we, at least it's one of the systems that we can have the most impact on consciously. So while continuing to notice the breath, let's just bring the attention to the soles of the feet and the palms of the hands, wherever they're resting. I'm practicing in a nice, safe and sturdy chair today that you might be practicing on your couch or in your work chair or lying on your bed or on the floor. Wherever you are, just bring your attention to the breath palms of your hands, and the soles of your feet. And then let's really consciously lift up through the spine, creating some length along the back body, the front body, both sides of the body. And bring your awareness inward, imagining your two lungs expanding and contracting, opening, releasing. receiving and letting go. Everyone has seen that picture of a anatomy. You've got the heart over here a little to the left and the two lungs and then down here in the belly are the intestines and some of those internal organs. And then right in between the two is the diaphragm, a muscle that we can strengthen by bringing our focused awareness to its function. So as you inhale and the lungs expand, 
the diaphragm drops down and opens up just like a smile. And as you exhale and the lungs contract, the diaphragm pushes upward and kind of domes more like, more like this. So it's breathing in, expanding, breathing out, doming upward, breathing in, allowing those lungs to increase their capacity and breathing out, allowing all of the old stale air to come back up out through the body. So just bring that awareness to that diaphragm as you inhale and imagine that inner smile it creates. And as you exhale, imagine that doming upward maybe kind of like the top of a jellyfish or an umbrella. Inhale, smiling downward, maybe expanding into the ribs at the side body. Maybe even take your hands to the ribs and notice the actual expansion here as the lungs increase their size and the natural contraction as all the air lets go. And keeping your hands there or not, whatever serves you best, just keep your awareness right there at the diaphragm. And let's continue that nice balanced diaphragmatic breathing as we Inhale and draw our arms out to the sides at shoulder level, palms facing down. And as we exhale, we'll just push the air down towards the earth, nice and slow. And we'll just inhale, letting the arms rise up to either side. And exhale, float downward. Thinking about the movement of the diaphragm as you inhale and bring that inner smile to life. And exhale, floating the arms downward just a little bit. And then we'll inhale and lift the arms out in front of us up to shoulder height. And then exhale, letting them float downward. Two more times like that, just inhaling up to shoulder height. And if, if you've got some shoulder issues, just inhale as high as feels good to you. Just being intentional about the movement, nice and slow. And then this time we'll inhale and bring the hands to the tops of the thighs or the knees. Reestablish that nice tall spine as you continue that diaphragmatic breath. Remind yourself of the palms of your hands and the soles of your feet. Create that nice long spine so you have plenty of space for those lungs to inhale and exhale. And this time we'll inhale and bring the arms up and out to the sides at shoulder height. And as we exhale, we'll just twist over towards the right, keeping the chin in line with the heart. You might want to stay here or you might want to let the arms come down. You can bring that right hand to the right hip or the back or seat of the chair. You can bring the left hand down to the right knee. You might want to take that gaze out over the back shoulder as you continue to inhale. That nice inner smile expanding through the rib cage. And exhale, the diaphragm domes upward. And maybe you can soften or even twist a little deeper. Two more full breaths like that.
The next time we inhale, we'll lift those right fingertips up towards the sky, keeping the twist. And then we'll kind of gently pull the shoulders forward, letting that left hand come up the thigh a little bit so that the shoulders and the heart are facing forward. But that left hand is still across the body, touching the right leg, wherever feels good to you. Stay for that exhale and really plug the shoulder down into the body, letting the shoulder blade come back to down the back. And then we'll inhale and tilt gently over towards the left, getting a big stretch in the right side body. And as you inhale and exhale here, visualize that right lung. Visualize the ribs on the right side of the body expanding and softening. Maybe notice the stretch from the right sit bone all the way up to the fingertips. Maybe turn your gaze down to the earth as you continue to expand and contract the right lung. Or maybe turn your gaze up towards the sky if that feels better in the neck. Just keep that chin tucked to keep the neck nice and long. One more full breath here. And then we'll come back up to center, release the right hand down and bring both hands to the tops of the knees again. Inhale, expanding into both lungs. And exhale, softening. And then we'll go ahead and inhale the arms out to the sides, palms facing down. And then we'll twist at the waist, coming towards the left, keeping the arms up high for a moment if you like, or letting them come down to the body in the chair when you're ready. We'll inhale that nice tall spine, expanding the diaphragm. Exhale, maybe looking back over the shoulder. Noticing the expansion and the contraction. And then we'll inhale the left fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale, facing forward again, letting that right hand come up towards the body. Stay here for a full breath, really plugging that shoulder down into the shoulder socket or that arm bone, the upper arm bone into the shoulder socket. And then we'll inhale, tilting it over towards the right. And again, here as we breathe, let's focus on the left lung this time, expanding allowing the ribs to soften. Noticing the length from the hip up to the fingertips. Taking the gaze up or down as feels best in your neck, keeping the chin tucked. Two more full breaths here. And then we'll inhale the fingertips back high to the sky and exhale to release everything back to center. Now let's do a little cat and cow here. We're gonna open the heart, keep the chin tucked to begin with as we inhale, kind of arching the back just very gently to start with. And then we'll exhale, drawing the belly button towards the spine and the chin to the chest as we round through the back. Inhale, really think about expanding those lungs, making space in the chest for their broadest expansion. And as you exhale, really focus on squeezing out any old stale air that no longer serves you. Inhale, maybe looking up a little bit higher, letting those elbows come back and down, making space for the breath. 
and exhale, rounding back, squeezing it all out, getting a nice big stretch all the way up the back body. And as you think about this, inhaling and opening and exhaling and contracting, imagine the breath, the oxygen coming in through the body and being delivered to every single cell because that's exactly what's happening here. We're inhaling this fresh oxygen and we're feeding not just the lungs, but every cell of the body. And as we exhale, letting all of that carbon dioxide go, we are releasing everything that doesn't serve us any longer. We are releasing the byproducts and the toxins of that old stale air. Hmm. I've even heard it said that as we lose weight, some of that weight is part of our exhalation because it's carbon, like carbohydrates. If you're curious about that, you could Google it. James Nestor is a wonderful guide for that. And so the next time you inhale, let's just come up to a nice tall spine once again. And let's get a little bit more of a twisting here. So let's take the left ankle over the right ankle, just as if we're crossing the ankles in front of us in polite company. And then let's inhale and open up the arms wide, palms facing forward. And as we exhale, we're gonna hug ourselves, crossing the right arm underneath the left. And this is a variation of eagle pose, Garundasana. Garudasana, Garundasana. I'm not sure if there's an N in there or not. I can't remember off the top of my head. But we'll breathe here. And we can inhale, lifting the elbows up to the sky. And exhale, just drawing the elbows down towards the thighs, coming inward on the south. Inhale, opening up, lifting the elbows, arching the back gently. And exhale, rounding inward. You might like to stay here or you could cross the left leg over the right and bring the backs of the hands together or maybe even the palms coming into a more deep eagle pose. So we'll inhale the elbows up towards the sky and exhale rounding downward. If this doesn't feel good to the body, come back to the previous position. This pose can be really challenging on the shoulders and the wrists. So if it doesn't feel good to you, just back off a bit. Come back to the hugs. Hugs always feel good. We'll inhale the elbows high to the sky and exhale, drawing the elbows inward. And then we'll inhale the elbows up high to the sky and exhale, unwinding the legs, unwinding the arms, giving yourself a couple shoulder, shoulder rolls here, just coming from side to side. And then we'll come back to center and we'll do the opposite side. So this time let's cross the right ankle over the left. We'll inhale the arms nice and wide and we'll hug around the front of the body, right arm on top this time. And we'll do that same thing here, inhaling the elbows high to the sky. And exhale, drawing the elbows down towards the knees. We're making some nice space here in the lungs as we open. We're exercising the diaphragm so we can pay, take bigger and completer breaths. We're strengthening that diaphragm, allowing our body to rid ourselves of old breath. And maybe we're going a little deeper by crossing the right leg over the left. 
Maybe bringing the backs of the hands or the palms together and continuing to open, inhaling elbows to the sky, exhaling, rounding down, really squeezing those elbows together, noticing how that creates space across the back of the heart as you round forward and space across the front of the heart as you arch back. And we'll have one more full round here, inhaling the elbows high to the sky and exhaling to unwind everything. And let's just go ahead and round the shoulders forward and we'll round the shoulders back. And then we'll scooch to the front of the chair and we'll just open up the right leg out to the right any amount. It might just be an inch. It might be six inches, 12. You might want to keep the knee bent and over the ankle, or you might want to extend the right leg out completely. Whatever feels best in your body. We're going to bring that right hand to the inside of the right knee or thigh here and we're going to bring the left hand to the left hip and then we're just going to gently turn to the left using the pressure of pressing the right hand into the right thigh and the right thigh into the right hand to open up and twist to the left Soften the shoulder blades down the back. Bring your attention to that diaphragm as you inhale that inner smile. Exhale that inner dome. As you continue to breathe here, you might keep the hand down at the waist or hip, or you might open the left arm out to the side, spreading your wing. Focusing on that left lung here as you expand and soften. One more inhale here and as we exhale, we'll bring everything back to center. And then we'll open up the left leg out to the side any amount. Bring the left palm to the inside of the left knee or thigh. Bring the right hand to the right hip. And we'll just gently begin to twist over towards the right. Maybe looking back over the right shoulder, bringing your attention back to that diaphragmatic breath. Imagining all that fresh oxygen moving throughout the body in these openings that we've created by our movements today. Maybe inhaling that left arm, or excuse me, right arm out to the side and up at shoulder height, pressing the left hand into the left thigh, lengthening through the spine, tucking the chin, expanding the right lung as you inhale, softening as you exhale. One more big breath here. And the next time you exhale, we'll simply come back to the center. Bring the hands back to the tops of the thighs and we'll inhale into our cow pose. And as we exhale, we'll just circle over to the right and back to a cat back. And we'll inhale over through the left and up into cow, just making some circles here with the spine, massaging the sacrum, noticing the palms on the, on the thighs and the soles of the feet on the earth, moving with the breath, reversing your circles when it feels good to you. Moving back through the left and breathing up through the right. Lubricating all the little vertebrae here with that wonderful synovial fluid so that we can keep our backs strong and healthy even as our breath. The next time you inhale, we'll come all the way back up to a nice tall spine. We'll roll the shoulders up towards the ears and back and down a couple of times. 
And then we'll scoop back into the chair so that the back is nice and supported here. We'll bring the hands back to the thighs, bring the soles of the feet back to the earth and bring the attention back to the breath. Inhaling that inner smile. Exhaling that inner dome. Floating upward like a jellyfish. Softening downward. Noticing how you feel. Imagining you can feel all that healthy, fresh, brand new oxygen nourishing every cell of your body from your toes, up your calves, into your knees, your thighs, the hips and the belly, the hands, the forearms and the elbows, the upper arms and the shoulders the neck, the head, the brain, and finally down into the heart and the lungs, the back of the chest, the back of the heart, the front of the chest, the openness that you've created to allow what's new, what's fresh to come into the body to absorb it, to make it your own. Three more nice conscience breaths, focusing on that diaphragm. Softening the shoulders, softening the jaw, softening the skin and the face. And the next time you notice your inhale and that inner diaphragmatic smile, maybe imagine also a smile on your face. Maybe even bringing an actual smile to your face, knowing that that in itself sends feel-good chemicals around your body. And then we'll inhale one last time together, lifting the arms up high to the sky, looking up to find your palms meeting up and overhead. And then we'll exhale, bringing the hands down to the heart, really pressing the thumbs into the sternum and lifting the heart and the lungs up towards the hands. One more full breath here. And this is where we tilt the chin gently, bowing down to self and respect for our bodies and love and compassion for our bodies. And I recognize the light and the love that is within you. Namaste.